Rishi Sunak planning 2024 election after cutting down income tax and raising the minimum wage as he goes neck to neck with Keir Starmer. Labour's poll lead cut to 14%, the smallest since Rishi Sunak became PM. Rishi Sunak is plotting a general election in autumn next year after unveiling tax cuts and a boost to the national living wage, it has been revealed. This is because he wants to allow his efforts to boost people's incomes to bed in before an election campaign, they said. Rishi Sunak plotting autumn 2024 election after slashing income tax and increasing the minimum wage in search of victory as polls tighten labor's lead to the narrowest of his premiership. Rishi Sunak is plotting a general election in autumn next year after unveiling tax cuts and a boost to the national living wage, it has been revealed. The Prime Minister's allies have dismissed claims that he will go early and take the country to the polls in May 2024. This is because he wants to allow his efforts to boost people's incomes to bed in before an election campaign, they said. Mr. Sunak is reportedly considering a cut in the headline rate of income tax and a rise in the national living wage, from £10.42 to £11.16 an hour or more, next April. It is thought this will help encourage voters to feel they are recovering from the cost-of-living crisis before they make their choice at the ballot box in autumn 2024. The PM's hopes of overturning Labour's poll lead by the time of the next election have been boosted by new research showing a narrowing between the Tories and Sir Keir Starmer's party. A Redfield and Wilton Strategies poll, conducted on Easter Sunday, revealed Labour's lead had been cut to 14%, the smallest lead for Sir Keir since Mr Sunak became PM. Labour were backed by 44% of voters, with the Tories supported by 30%, and the Liberal Democrats on 10%. The Prime Minister's allies have dismissed claims that he will go early and take the country to the polls in May 2024. A Redfield and Wilton Strategies poll, conducted on Easter Sunday, revealed Labour's lead had been cut to 14%, the smallest lead for Sir Keir Starmer since Rishi Sunak became PM. Labour were backed by 44% of voters, with the Tories supported by 30%, and the Liberal Democrats on 10%. Labour to launch fresh attack on Rishi Sunak by accusing his family of benefiting from loophole while raising taxes for working people. Labour are launching another attack on Rishi Sunak today accusing him of raising taxes for working people while his family benefited from a loophole. Despite a mounting backlash against the gutter politics of their recent advert campaign, Labour is digging in by publishing a poster criticizing the Conservatives on tax policy. Labour sparked fury last week when it shared an image on Twitter which suggested Mr. Sunak does not believe adults convicted of sexually assaulting children should go to prison. It was condemned across the political spectrum, with a host of senior figures in Labour urging the party to take it down. However Labour leader Sir Keir Starmer told the Mail that he stands by every word. It has since sparked accusations of hypocrisy as it emerged that Sir Keir attended 21 meetings to help draft sentencing guidelines that can see convicted pedophiles avoid prison, before Mr Sunak became an MP. According to The Times, Chancellor Jeremy Hunt is considering announcing a cut in income tax in his autumn statement this year, which would then come into effect in April 2024. This could also coincide with a rise in the national living wage next spring, while ministers are reportedly planning to lower the age threshold for the living wage from 23 to 21. This could lead to the pay of those affected rising by nearly 10% in a year. A senior government source told the newspaper, it's all about people feeling that they have more money in their pocket by the time we get to the next election. An ally of the PM dismissed the prospect of Mr Sunak announcing an election before the summer of next year. There will be a big fiscal event in spring of next year, and we need time for that to bed in they said. Mr. Sunak has until January 2025 at the latest to call a general election. The Daily Telegraph also reported that Mr. Sunak is planning for a general election in autumn next year rather than spring 2024, with October and November put down as provisional dates. This would allow Mr. Sunak two years as PM before facing a vote, while it would also give him a greater time period to fulfill his promise to stop the boats crossing the channel. Paul Johnson, head of the Institute of Fiscal Studies, said that Britons were unlikely to feel much better off financially by next spring. In one sense things will look better. Inflation will be a lot better than it is at the moment. Wages might well be starting to rise faster than prices, he said. But I don't think people will be feeling terribly chipper. We will have seen pretty big falls in real incomes this year and last year. By spring next year they are still likely to be below where they were two or three years earlier.
Polling expert Sir John Curtis agreed Mr. Sunak would be looking to autumn next year for a general election. I've long since taken the view that October or November of next year has to be the most likely date, he told GB News. By going for as long as possible, the conservatives maximize their chances that they can achieve a political recovery. The PM will only go early if there is a fairly dramatic turnaround in the polls by the spring of next year that makes him believe that perhaps he's got a chance of winning. The Liberal Democrats today pointed to new research that revealed average earnings for a full-time worker went from £27,493 in 2021 to £26,038 last year, after income tax and national insurance were deducted and pay was adjusted for rising inflation. An estimated 3.5 million people in the UK are expected to be pushed into a higher income tax band in 2023-24, due to the freezing of income tax thresholds by Mr Hunt. Lib Dem MP Sarah Olney, the party's Treasury spokesperson, said, British workers are seeing their wages squeezed with a stealth tax rate at a time when millions are already feeling the pinch. Share or comment on this article, Rishi Sunak plotting autumn 2024 election after slashing income tax and increasing minimum wage. And borrowing, but about how to deal with the real pressures people face in their lives. And right now, we are facing challenges to supply chains, not just here, but right around the world. And we are determined to tackle them head on.